Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, briefing for parents and pupils and carers regarding the reopening of Llan Gollin High School on June the 29th which is next week. Apologies that this presentation is, is all in English. Um, uh, I'm afraid the information is coming at us so quickly at the moment uh, that we haven't got uh, time to, uh, to get all the presentations done bilingually so uh, huge apologies for that but I want to get the information out to you as quickly as we possibly can. So the objectives of, of this document, of this briefing, is to explain how school will operate from June the 29th until July the 24th, what measures we've put in place um, to keep staff and pupils safe, what you as pupils will be doing, and what staff will be doing in school to support you. So just some context there for you on, on this slide. So the Welsh Government have asked us to provide some face-to-face -face support to pupils and they're calling it check-in, catch-up and prepare and we're to do that over a four-week period. We're also going to be providing emergency hub childcare within the schools and we'll be splitting year groups into smaller groups called bubbles. We'll be keeping the groups apart as much as possible. We'll maintain social distancing within groups as much as we possibly can and we'll be staggering timings to reduce contact at peak times. Uh, we'll be enhancing hygiene practices within the school and also enhancing cleaning practices within the school. So the total numbers of pupils in the school will not exceed one third of our building capacity. And for us in Llanfallin, that gives us a COVID-19 capacity for the next four weeks of 276 people and we're, we're not going to come anywhere near that, I don't think. So who's going to be in school and when are they going to be in school? So as you can see, from a Monday to a Friday, it's a year group per day. So Monday is year 12, Tuesday year 10, Wednesday is year 9, Thursday is year 8, and Friday is year 7. And students will only be able to attend school on their allocated year group days, and we will intend on providing all students with a four whole days over the four week period that you'll be in school. Blended learning will continue remotely all week, so you'll still be doing the work on your computers at home to support what you'll be doing in school. And there will be staggered times throughout the day uh, for when you'll arrive at the school and when you'll leave the school and breaks and lunches, etc. So pupils are going to be split in, into class groups or what we're going to be calling bubbles. Okay, Maximum of 15 pupils in each bubble. There's going to be a mixture of friendship groups and our heads of year will be leading on this to make sure that you're in a, a bubble um, with people that you know and that you're comfortable with. And each one of our bubbles will be housed in one of our larger rooms in the school. We've used all our large rooms, so predominantly IT rooms. And those rooms have separate entries and exits they're very well uh, ventilated and they're light and they're airy. Each bubble room will have its own dedicated outdoor space uh, within our school site. And the school will contact you as parents and carers to tell you which bubble you're in, which bubble your child is in before they come to school next week. So social distancing within the class groups, within the bubbles. As I've said, we've used our larger rooms predominantly the IT rooms, because that means pupils are facing away from each other and away from the teacher whilst they're working. There is a strict two metre rule in place across the whole school. We space tables apart in the classrooms and it's one pupil per table or computer workstation. We're going to be using the outdoor spaces to do some outdoor learning, um, especially when the weather is nice. We'll get outdoors as much as we possibly can. And as I've said, each bubble has its own outdoor area. And within the classrooms, there are designated teacher areas um, which have their own uh, taped off sort of technical areas, as it were, um, where pupils shouldn't enter that area. So as you can see on the screen, this is one of our bubble rooms. So that's um, the old library, Canal van Kuntleid, and that's been turned into a bubble room. It's a nice, big, light, airy space. And you can see we're well spaced out in there. Um, and if you look, top right hand side you can see a little arrow pointing and that is the exit for that room so the entry is behind behind us currently 
and the exit is there and that leads out to our own designated space out there which is one half of the red grass pitch and the, and the grass areas around it for that one particular bubble of pupils. This is another one of our bubble rooms. This is room three. Um, again, you can see that we've removed an awful lot of chairs and turned computers around where they can't be used. It's only where chairs are that pupils can work. Again, it's a well ventilated area and sort of towards middle left of this screen, you can see an arrow which points out to the designated exit for this room which takes you out to the outdoor area uh, on one of the football pitches there uh, and that's that one area for that particular bubble. Another picture of room three there, you can see again windows nice and widely open um, to maintain that nice ventilation uh, which is essential um, during, the, uh, during these times. Okay, getting to school, transport. Um, Bus transportation obviously is an arrangement between um, the local authority and, and the bus companies and yourselves. It's, uh, it is separate to school. The Powys uh, local authority have informed us that all the buses will run and they've provided us with reassurances that you know there'll be cleaning, risk assessments done and social distancing on the buses. Now I have sent that information out uh, from Powys to you uh, via a letter on the school website and via social media and that came out on Tuesday the 23rd of June. But in summary, wherever possible you're encouraged to travel if you live in town by foot, um, cycle uh, or by car. Okay, I would say travel on the bus, the guidance is that it, that it is as a, a last resort. There will be seating plans on the bus so there will be less students on each bus. Now there'll be a duty road to staff to meet students at their bus upon arrival and we'll give guidance on, uh, on getting people into the school building but everybody will come in through the theatre entrance. Any concerns about transport, um, please contact the, the bus company that you normally travel will, with um, and please make sure that on the questionnaire we've asked you to fill out that you state whether your child will be coming by bus or not. But as I say, we encourage you wherever possible to travel by foot, by bike, or by car. So dropping off and picking up, there will be staggered times, which I'll show you in a second, for different pupil groups, staggered bus and private car timings, there'll be ground markings um, and signage to encourage social distancing as you're entering the building, and once you're inside the building there is a strict one-way system, which I'll show you in a second. There's one entry into the building to ensure that everybody is using the hand sanitizers as they come in. Um, and everybody will enter via the theatre entrance and join our one-way system. At the end of the day, each bubble will leave via their own exit and they'll leave, they'll leave at staggered times to allow for social distancing as we're leaving. So that's just a reminder of the, uh, of the theatre entrance and, and how you would come into the school. So you pull your car up outside there, members of staff will meet you and you'll be, you'll be escorted through there and there'll be members of staff on reception and hand sanitizers available. Staggered start times, okay, you'll be informed of which bubble you will be in, so we will contact you. So car arrivals, please drop off at the front of the school. There will be members of staff out there who will give you directions. There will be members of our caretaking staff, myself and Mr Thomas will be out there. So if you're in bubble 1 to bubble 4, please arrive between 8.40 and 8.50. If you're in bubbles 5 to bubble 8, please arrive between 8.55 and 9.05. The bus arrivals will be dictated, of course, by the bus timetables. Um, and once you come into the building, you make your way across to whichever room your bubble is in that day. Bus arrivals, as I've said, dictated by the bus timetables. And at the end of the day, um, departures, the front car park, where there will be no staff car parking there to allow you plenty of space to be able to pick up your, your child. And anybody in bubble 1 to 4, please pick up between 3pm and 3.10. And bubbles 5 to 8, please pick up between 3.15 and 3.25. So that's people arriving by car. Obviously, if you're arriving by foot, you will walk home. Um, if you're cycling, you will cycle home. And pupils who are on the buses, you will wait until the car pickups have been done and then you'll be taken to your buses at 3.25. So what can pupils bring into school? So it's minimal equipment, please. Um, you'll need to bring enough food and drink to keep you going all day because there'll be no canteen facilities in school. 
need to bring a pencil case, so one which is wipeable, um, you know, plastic pencil case, which we, we can clean every day. And one pen, one pencil, rubber ruler and calculator, very basic equipment, please. Uh, in my previous letter to you, I said that mobile phones were to be were being discouraged. Uh, I am changing that, relaxing that slightly. So if you do want to bring your mobile phone into school, you can do. Should be kept in your bag, but it can be used as part of your learning under the direction of the teacher. So if the member of staff wants you to use the mobile phone as part of your independent learning, you can do so. It may mean if you're outside the building, you could use your mobile phone as part of independent learning there. Headphones, you can bring those in um, because you can listen uh, to music and that may help independent learning because you may need your headphones to plug into the computers in school. So those two things are optional for you to bring in. Uh, no books will be required, no planner required, no paper. Um, so come in with minimal equipment, please, and enough food and drink to keep you going throughout the day. So what should you wear? Casual and easily, easily washable clothes, please. So there's no requirement for uniform, but you can wear items of uniform if that's easier for you, but it's not compulsory. So coming to school in clothes that are easily washed, so it's important that uh, you wear school, wear clean clothes each day that you attend school. Behaviour, obviously good and respectful behaviour is something that we're used to in Llanbathlin and that's even more important during uh, the COVID-19 crisis. Okay, so there is an adjustment to our behaviour code of conduct. Um, we will be giving you a briefing on how we expect you to behave each morning and expectations of respectful behaviour, so respecting the two metre rule, okay, uh, not coughing or sneezing all over the place. And, you know, if there are breaches of the behaviour code, we will ask you as parents to collect pupils immediately. We'll withdraw them from the classroom and we would like you to collect them immediately, please. And we would like your support in emphasising the importance of excellent behaviour um, and respectful behaviour uh, to your children before they come back into school. We are running a childcare hub. Um, and that's going to be housed on our welfare corridor up in the maths and ALN department. Uh, Mr. Hugh Lloyd-Jones and Miss Rihanna Molyneux will be managing that. And the hub will have its own IT room, its stone toilets and traditional classrooms up there as well. So our new Canal Van Tailey, which uh, used to be called the hub, will be available for vulnerable or anxious pupils. And this will be staffed by Mrs. Helen Lloyd and Mrs. Maria Hood as the hub was. So that's up in now in the, in the maths corridor, not where the hub was previously. So key worker pupils, so places into that hub will be limited to key workers who've already registered with the emergency childcare hubs over the past 12 weeks. But as well as that, school staff and early year staff can have their children care for there between half past eight in the morning and 4.30 p.m. But you will need to register your children into those facilities, please. And please be in touch with school. Just a note on what staff will be doing. Again, they will be in school by 8.40 a.m. at the latest. They will also come in through the theatre entrance and they'll be signed in by reception staff. And once they're in the building, they will go straight to the bubble room to wait for you, to wait for the pupils, um, because you'll be arriving in dribs and drabs. And staff will not be wearing formal wear. They'll be, they'll be wearing casual wear, comfortable clothes, which again, can be easily washed. So what will you be doing? Okay, so the emphasis is on your well-being and making sure that it is a worthwhile visit into school. Okay, so for year 12, on the first Monday, we'll be doing the well-being check-in with you and then you'll be moving on to completing some Welsh back work. Year 10, again, it's that well-being check-in and then on, on week one, we'll be looking at your core subjects. So that's your, your Cymraeg, your English, your Maths and your Science. And then in week two for year 10, we will move on to options as we will with year 12. Year seven, eight and nine, you'll be doing a well-being check-in, but you'll also be doing some cross-curricular themed projects. OK, something uh, interesting, something a little bit more enjoyable. Um, so that's what year seven, year eight and nine we're doing. And all subject areas are feeding into that. Please don't worry about it before you come. You'll have all of the instructions. It's a brand new project. All instructions will be given to you when you come to school. Of course, your digital learning, your blending learning will continue remotely all week because 
um, for year seven exam for example you're only in school on a friday so monday to thursday you will continue with your blended learning and a reminder please that all pupils must check emails for regular updates please so go uh, have a look um, you pupils check your emails look for updates break and lunch times so you'll be bringing your packed lunch um, and you can eat that in the bubble classroom or preferably outdoors if, if it's lovely and sunny we will take you outdoors and there'll be a member of staff with you at all times um, and I said there's allocated places outside for each bubble and we'll have different times for different groups not everybody will be on break or on lunch at the same time you'll be doing that with your bubble of pupils and your bubble of friends when you're moving around the school there is a strict one-way system okay so follow all of the signs please and please stick to the two meter social distancing which is easy because we've marked all the floors out for you and you can see how far two meters is now some areas of the school that are blocked off and staff will supervise all of the open routes at peak times during the day the use of toilets it's a strict one person at a time into each toilet and there'll be hand sanitizing uh, gels etc in there as well as soap and hot water and hand towels for you to make sure that your hands are clean okay there will be staff supervising the toileting areas uh, and they'll, they'll be making sure that it is strictly one person in um, at, at a time within the toilets and as I've said we will have staff out and about at all times so if there's any worries any problems at all ask a member of staff who will be in the hallway for you so these are some of the signs you'll see around school all about our social distancing rules and our one-way system and this is what the corridors look like so we've got the tape uh, on the floor at two meter intervals just instructions you keep those those two meter gaps you'll be very used to this because you, you know if you've been going to morrison's or tesco's or any of the supermarkets you'll know about social distancing by now you can see just on the left hand side that this is reception and there's hand sides a hand sanitizing unit there and there are hand sanitizing units located all around the school okay if you feel unwell okay you need to tell your teacher straight away and if you feel unwell with COVID-19 symptoms we will need to take you out of the classroom and we will take you to somewhere quiet to be in a room away from everybody else um, probably with myself or Mr Thomas or a member of the SLT or somebody from the first aid team will be there with you um, and if you do have you know the, the temperature the continuous cough or the, the feeling unwell in a COVID way um, I will need to wear PPE so I'll need to put a face mask on I'll need to wear an apron I need to put gloves on to sit with you um, uh, because those are the rules that we're following and we'll also ask you to put a face mask on and we have those here okay and all of the staff have had I've watched a training video on how they put PPE on etc okay so that's if you feel unwell but mainly you need to tell us straight away tell your teacher straight away if you feel unwell they'll tell a member of the senior leadership team we'll come and collect you and then we will wait for your parents or your carers to come and get you as soon as possible and parents will be calling you straight away okay to, to come and collect and we're going to be doing that in a room at the front of the school where you know we can get in into and out of very very quickly with cars etc so it's at the front of the school in one of the middle bars again these are some instructions for you uh, we follow all of this the, the the instructions from public health wales um, and on screen for you there's our instructions about what happens um, when you get home if you have COVID-19 symptoms okay so it's the self-isolation for seven days uh, arranged for a test to happen and then members of the household will need to self-isolate for 14 days and if the test is negative of course you can return to school and all of the members of the household uh, can stop self-isolating if you test positive okay you know that um, that you'll have to self-isolate for 14 days um, and if um, obviously we have other pupils in the group we will have to make sure that they that they know that somebody in, in the class has tested positive and they will need to self-isolate 
uh, sent home the self-isolate for 14 days. But again, we follow all the instructions that we get from the Welsh Government and from Public Health Wales. And the household members of those pupils who have been sent home will only need to self-isolate if the pupils or the staff member that they live with subsequently develop symptoms, of the, so if they become unwell with COVID symptoms. But again, there's a responsibility on all of us to follow all of the current and relevant medical guidance. So in terms of enhanced hygiene practices around the school, so you can read there, it's, it's key. Washing your hands, sanitising your hands is key. And to do that throughout the day, you know, regularly throughout the day. And there are, there are examples on screen there. So if you go to the toilet, wash your hands. If you're, you're touching faces, coughing or sneezing, wash your hands. If you go outside of the, of the bubble room and come back in, sanitise your hands. Okay, before you eat, after you eat, etc. Um, the classrooms, not all of them have sinks, of course. So all of them have hand sanitising available within the bubble rooms. And again, that tells you there, hand sanitizers available in all of the bubble rooms and in key areas around the building. We have antiviral wipes and tissues available in each bubble room. That's for cleaning your, your work area. And there will be bins available in each bubble room for any waste. So you know, if, you, if a tissue needs to go in the bin, etc., there are bins there for you. That's a picture of one of our hand sanitising units. They're on the walls around the school, so in common areas. And that shows you what our um, hand sanitising and uh, antiviral wipes and all of that equipment is available in each bubble room. So when, you, when you're in the classroom, all of that equipment is there for you. So in terms of cleaning the school, our canteen staff have been redeployed and they've all been trained as additional cleaning staff. So we've really boosted our cleaning team. They will be on school all they will be on site all day. Common areas will be cleaned throughout the day. The bubble rooms will be cleaned twice a day. That'll be at lunchtime and after school. And we have antiviral wipes available in all of the bubble rooms, and we'll be encouraging you to clean your own work areas before and after use. Um, so, for example, when I come into my office in the high school uh, in the mornings, I take an antiviral wipe and I wipe my keyboard and the phone and the screen and the desk. Just give it a wipe down um, as well as the, the cleaning that is being done by our trained cleaners. Face coverings for pupils and staff. There's some instructions there and some guidance that have been given to us by the chief medical officer um, regarding the wearing of face coverings okay there's a responsibility on us as our schools to ensure that um, that we've organized the environment um, so that social distancing can be maintained throughout the day and we've put all of those things in place okay but in exactly the same way as when you go to the supermarket um, basically the the you are permitted to wear face coverings if you wish in school and that's for pupils and staff if that makes you feel more comfortable uh, to come to school, that is fine, okay? So the bottom line with face coverings is pupils and staff are permitted to wear face coverings if they wish. If that makes you feel more comfortable, that is fine. Nobody will question you. People will not ask you to take it off. Um, that, is, that is up to you, okay? In exactly the same way as you have been if you've been going to the supermarket or not. So in terms of personal protective equipment, I talked earlier on, if, if a child feels ill um, and feels ill with COVID um, symptoms, um, then we will need to wear PPE whilst we're supervising them and we will ask them to wear a face mask and we have all of that PPE in school. Okay. The first bullet point there tells you that uh, in you know, routine educational activities, there's no need for us to wear PPE. Okay, and then there are two instances there when we may require to be wear, to wear PPE. And of course, again, we'll follow all of the current um, medical guidance. Health and safety procedures, so fire alarms and lockdown procedures. So fire evacuation procedures, they're the same. So when the fire alarm goes off, you need to exit um, from the exit in your, in your bubble room and you need to make your way to the red gra, socially distance, 
you'll be with your, your member of staff, uh, I will be there to meet you, and we will line you up at two metre intervals. And you can do that yourself, you can socially distance yourself um, if we have to have a fire evacuation. And of course, remember, there's only ever going to be around about 100 pupils on site, whereas normally when we have fire evacuation, we get 700 pupils onto the red car. Okay. In terms of lockdown, um, you're within your bubble rooms. Um, it's much simpler if the 30 rings goes off and we have to do we have to do a lockdown. You will do that within your bubble rooms. Um, if you're in your designated outdoor area, you will come back into your bubble room uh, and execute the lockdown there, and then we'll indicate when that's that's being lifted. So just for you as families to know who we've spoken to in terms of getting the school ready. These are all the people that we've collaborated with over the past few weeks to get the school ready um, for your pupils to come back in, for your children to come back in. So obviously we're following Welsh Government guidelines, Paris Local Education Authority work um, and guidelines from them. I've been part of the Paris Task and Finishing Group, uh, consulting with other head teachers and all the officers from local authority in how we should reopen. We've spoken with Powers Transport, with the cleaning, catering, with the buildings people, with HR, etc., with all the health and safety people that we need to. We've spoken to other head teachers, other school management teams from around the cluster, from primary schools and from other secondary schools. But of course, remember, each school is unique. Each school building is unique. Uh, therefore, we, we, we come up with our, our unique ideas for how we do things. And we've spoken to Eru and to Estin, all of the teaching unions, our governing body. And of course, we've consulted with yourself along the way in terms of getting questionnaires filled in. And a quick reminder, please, that there'll be a weekly questionnaire for you to, to fill in to tell us if your child is coming to school, because that's essential that we get that in. So next steps, Thursday and Friday, um, staff will be in. Um, they will be getting, getting the, themselves ready to teach from Monday onwards. Please familiarise yourself with, with the information I've given you. Uh, apologies it's taken so long. We're nearly at the half hour mark now. So you've done well to, to listen. But of course, this is a video, so you can pause, rewind, watch things over again. And if you have any questions or concerns, please send an email in to office at Llanfathlin. Um, the phone lines are not always um, staffed so it's much better if you if you use the office email please keep an eye out on social media and on texts from ourselves for more details it's a very very dynamic situation um, as i'm recording this now uh, the uk government um, boris johnson has just relaxed the two meter rule um, and and has said that some more businesses can open up soon um, as, I'm aware, as I've just had a look on social media and the two metre rule is still in place in Wales so there's a lot of information coming out very quickly so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that and you should keep an eye on that as well and please 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 complete the weekly survey which we will send to you um, telling us whether your child is going to come into school because that way we can plan in detail thank you ever so much thank you for listening uh, and please remember our daily ethos um, we really do feel like a, pl a family here in, in Llanfathlin and we look after each other uh, and our aim is to keep your children as safe as we possibly can um, within within our teilu. Thank you for listening.